all about that meta, my friends. That is what we're doing here today in our episode and guide. All the things that you need to know here for Kingdom Arena, Dying World Season 1, really May, when it comes to Kingdom Arena and PvP and Cookie Run Kingdom. Thank you for tuning in as always. Thank you for the likes and the subs. If you got a question, if you got a comment throughout, do let me know because I'd love to hear from you as always. And feel free to join us in our amazing Discord server and community. Now, a couple things. We'll talk about some of the recent events here in Cookie Run Kingdom that have impacted the meta. Additionally, we'll delve into it for us here today and go do some cookie PvP runs, as we like to say. Lastly, we'll pull it back together in our outtake. So let's get into it, and you can find those timestamps available to you down below in the description, along with a lot of other great information and key meta teams and comps. All right, here we go, my friends. So first and foremost, there's a reason I have Stormbringer here. Many of you know that already. So what is the big thing that has happened? We do have Stormbringer cookie. That's right, my friends. This new cookie here is a powerhouse. Um, on top of that, let's go to our gotcha here quickly. We do have a fairly decent impact going on with the gotcha due to electric type so that is a new piece i wanted to use this as a way to show it for you so we got a lot of electric type cookies um, so we're going to keep an eye on this as things continue to evolve we know that we have magic candies coming our way yes between blueberry pie and twizzly gummy not yet but soon um, which is key as always and we'll do an updated one of these um as well so that is first and foremost when we do look at our cookies the big piece again like i said is stormbringer um we do have the ability to get stormbringer for free if you're logging in for 10 days i got a guide all around this stuff along with our lightning bolts all that fun stuff for our legendary gotcha that you can check out now um, let's get into it because that is the biggest piece we've seen a couple minor tweaks um, and other cookies available to us in the mileage shop However, let's go ahead and delve into our Kingdom Arena. Now, before we do, I'm going to switch my team over because we have just done a new comp that you can check out here on the channel. Absolutely. So let's get it in because I like to do a lot of that comparison. So when we go into the ranking here, let's take a look at these top teams. Well, really the defensive team here. So not a great comparison. We'll leave our defenders for now. Um, here is what you're going to see. We got Stormbringer, my friend. We got Golden Chief cheese we got frost queen in there as well look at that we do have yeti so don't forget we got yeti in there too look at this frost queen uh gc all right here we got our friend white lily uh let's keep going let's keep going look at this look at this all right all right there you have it here's a little bit of a different breakout right here a little bit like my team similar to my team except we got snapdragon here all right there we go this is similar to my team as well here we got white lily there we go again we got the defensive cookies in there white lily ah that gets us through our top 50. all right defense side with snap all right white lily frost queen there you go. You got Frost Queen, Golden Cheese, Burnt. We also have uh, Yeti and the lovely Stormbringer. All right, here we go. Again, right there for you. All right. There's our defensive team, except with Snap. All right, and there you have it. There it is again, my friends. And there's our team right there. So really kind of a dichotomy between two teams now in our Stormbringer meta. So we've covered the defensive team, which is the one I have right there, which is also the one that we have in the 100 slot. What you're doing here with this one is you have Icicle Yeti to fend off the good old Frost Queen as an example. The other one version variant that you're seeing here um, is the Frost Queen more attack meta, except you do still have Icicle Yeti there to counter Frost. So a couple different things. The big thing here, why you're seeing Snapdragon falling out of the meta a lot more is because the fact that we have um, Stormbringer and we have uh, Frost Queen. So we're really focused on reducing the Frost and Stormbringer can rip off um, the with Zap can rip off the bubbles so uh the health bubbles so those are a couple key pieces as you can see this is really what's going on in the meta we have a defensive uh version 
We have an offensive version to a certain extent here, a little bit more offensive-minded versus mine. Um, I call this Turtle, Turtle 2.0, um, the perfect turtle, whatever you want to call it. And then we got another variant here. Um, now, again, really going to matter on how you're lining up against your teams. We got our attackers, we got our defenders, what you're playing, what you're going after. If they're not running Stormbringer, obviously Snapdragon's not a bad one to have in there. Um, and instead, you can have different kinds of healers, those kinds of things and things to consider. So that, my friends, is exactly what you need to know when we look at our top 100. Again, really what's out there in terms of these teams. Um, I have more details on this particular comp down below and here on the channel that you can check out. So let's go ahead and do a couple runs now so that you can see this. Um, oh, look at that. I fell right while I was doing that. All right, so let's go ahead. We're going to take this one down real quick here because that's it feels good. <laughs> All right, sorry, Stormbringer. Stormbringer on Stormbringer. Is that going to boost us up? It does. Look at that, my friends. We're back to Elite. All because of my defensive team, right? We should get a little, little stronger on that. All right, so let's go ahead. We'll clean out some of these teams here. Um, this one is looking to be a little bit more meta-esque. Um, let's go ahead and battle it underway. Forces must be stopped. There they are. They're higher than us. Three. Their team switched up a little bit, huh? All right, top 10,000 right here. Let's see how our team holds up. So again, the Snapdragon in there. We can break a lot of that stuff down. They are a little bit more oriented towards damage than we are. Able to recover here. They still have White Lily. They still got Finance here. We're about halfway with this team. They do have Snapdragon in there. There's a Pound from Stormbringer. And now it's time to get Finance here. Finance here just lives so long, I swear. Every time I do a lot of these things, it's always one of the last ones to fall. All right, top 28. Look at that. Look at that. All right, let's go to the next one, my friends. Here we go. This is a fairy team. We've actually covered this one. Um, you can check it out here on the channel in our different guides and things. Many of you have asked me about this one uh, before, and certainly I always love recommendations, questions um, when it comes to some of these team components or things that you want to see here on the channel. All right, 50,000, are we gonna take it down? And there it goes, my friends, there it goes. Just white little left. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Invulnerability right there, all right. And one more here and then we get a reset. Sketchex, Sketchex, Sketches, something like that. All right, 36k versus R. All right, so they got double healers here on their side with Rockstar and Snap. They also have Crimson Coral there and Moonlight. Look at that, they're able to heal quite pretty good. They still got their four in there. I haven't quite got it yet. Look at that healing. There we go. We did get Rockstar. There's Golden Cheese. Alright, one healer. Crimson Coral. Golden Cheese. Are we going to be able to do it in time? 30 seconds. I think we got it. I think we got it. Damage increased by 350%. Oh, come on. We just need that invulnerability to wear off. 19 seconds. They can't stop it. There. <laughs> we got it. All right, my friends. Onwards and upwards. Not bad. The 27,000. Um, let's go ahead. We'll play one more here. Let's see if we can find a nice, very similar meta team. This is probably as good as it's going to get. Pretty close to ours. Not quite. But this is the turtle. Let's go for the turtle. Ooh, with creme brulee. Ah, let's see how this goes. So this one can be tricky. They're top 16,000. We're about 27 right now, I think is what it said. Um, we have to be able to take that creme brulee down. If we can't take it down, that thing can start to do lots and lots and lots of damage, which is the way that this particular team works. Um, and again, one that we've, I think a similar variant we've shown here on the channel now uh, that you can check out. Uh-oh, financier cookies running into some problems. There we go. We got some heals in there. Ooh, 
financier's done. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, we're gonna get lost. We lost. Look at that. Look at the. Look at that. Not bad though. Good, good for our opponent. So there you can see the creme brulee still works very, very well. We weren't able to put out enough damage output. On top of that, if you saw. We kept getting the injury reduction that really, really hurt us there as well. That was a 17, 1.7 versus our 1.6. We need to have some recovery here, my friends. Some recovery. Let's go after a little bit higher one here. There we go. Parfait, Queen, White Lily. So this one has a double heal team. Right around the same as us. And we didn't want to conclude on cross. That's why we got it. Uh-oh. Lots and lots of damage there on Hollyberry. Are we going to be able to stay alive? We'll find out here in a second. There we go. A decent heal. Very, very close. Now, again, our opponent has a ton more power. They got a lot more healing going on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We didn't get enough damage in. Stormbringer. Not quite. There we go. Come on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Come on, Stormbringer. Oh, didn't get it. Didn't get it. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. We do have a full health, Stormbringer. Okay, come on. Oh, they got it. We can't lose on that. So this is good so you can see some of the ways that this one loses. Um, we didn't quite get there um, on our other one. So, well, at least in our, in our comp video. We'll take, we'll take on an off-meta team right here. Let's go for it. Got to conclude on a win, my friends. All right, here we go. This one should be mincemeat for us here. There we go. Yeah. Much better. And there you have it. All right, my friends, that is all she wrote for us here today. Almost the top 25,000, which is really nice. We're going to continue to move onwards and upwards, as we like to say here, um, as always. With that, that is today's episode and guide for you here all around the May meta in Kingdom Arena and Cookie Run Kingdom and the Dawning World Season 1. If you got a question, if you got a comment, certainly let me know. I'd love to hear from you if you got team comps, those kinds of things. Um, it's a lot of fun. We might feature it here on the channel. Now, on top of that, thank you. Thank you for tuning in today. I appreciate your support. Thank you for the likes and the subs as we continue to grow this amazing community here, um, as always. And on top of that, thank you to our members. I appreciate that. We do have memberships available to you. Um, also, affiliate links that you can check out. Swag and merch, all that fun stuff. Something there for everyone, as I like to say. All down below in the description and other great ways to support. With that, uh, don't forget our socials, at me, chat me, stay connected. Like I said, I might feature some of your stuff here um, because that's what I love doing. And with that, my friends, get out there, get winning with some of the new Stormbringer stuff here in Cookie Run Kingdom. Keep on running. <laughs>